we can start the making of it. Good morning, everyone. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Yes, you are audible. Good morning, Tapas. We are starting with the meeting, sir. Uh, morning, everyone. Morning, sir. Good morning. Morning. Good afternoon, dear sir. Order. And a respected member of the dais, I, Tapas Tirtha, Company Secretary of Banpur Cement Limited, welcome you to the 36th annual general meeting of the company, being held through video conferencing and other audio video mode. Since the quorum is present, I would request the shareholder to elect the chairman of the meeting. Hello. Noted, noted. Thank you all. Shareholders have elected Mr. Injadrit Kumar Tiwari as the chairman of this meeting. Since the quorum is present, I would request the chairman to call the meeting to order and proceed with the meeting. Sir, dear, please continue. Dear shareholders, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start with the meeting, I would like to introduce my colleagues on the board, Mr. Rajesh Sharma, sir, and uh, uh, Mr. Ram Narayan uh, ji is also available uh, in this meeting, uh, Mr. Ritesh Agarwal, and our CFO, Mr. Pawan Parikh. Company Secretary Mr. Tapas Tirtha and the statutory auditor represented by Mr. Manjit Verma, partner of KR, uh, K Pandya and Company. Our internal auditor represented by Mr. Gopal Beast, partner KRGB and Associates. And last but not the least, Mr. Pankaj Kumar Modi, practicing company secretary, scrutinizer for this meeting. With great pleasure, I welcome you all to the 36th annual general meeting of your company, Banpur Cement Limited which turns out to be third consecutive uh, video, uh, video uh, meeting mode. I was hopeful that the entire board would have had opportunity to meet you in person at least this year, but we thought that it prudent to avoid a physical meeting given the fact that the fear of COVID is still there. The director's report and the auditor's report for the year ending 31st March 2022 are already with you and with your kind permission. I take them as read. As you are aware, the requirement of sending physical copies of the notice and annual reports has been dispended off by the circular from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and that of SEBI. Now I take up the formal proceedings of the meeting with your kind permission. As there are no qualifications in the auditor's report, I take the notice convening that the meeting and auditor's report as read. I am delighted to welcome you all to the 36th general meeting of your company. As all the shareholders are aware that your company was taken into the securitization process by its secured financial creditors, that is State Bank of India and Central Bank of India under Surface Act 2022. Accordingly, State Bank of India and Central Bank of India has assigned their respective date to the UV asset reconstruction company which approximately accumulated acquisition uh, was 76% of the total financial debt and other observation, uh, observation of the business of the company. UV ARCL was one of the opinion that then management was not competent enough to utilize remaining resources optimally and run the business and exercising the power given under section 91A of Surface E. They uh, changed the management of the company and uh, we are our current board is the representative of UV ARCL. In August 2022, UVRCL also acquired the remaining 24% of the uh, secured financial debt that is from the Punjab National Bank. The company is in trying to every mean to improve its performance as your company sells its entire product to entire finished product to Ultratech Cement Limited. Pursuant to the offtake agreement, the impact of demand and supply of Ultratech Cement directly affects the performance of the company. 
Further, the company has negotiated its commercial terms, and Ultratech Cement Limited has renewed the off-tech agreement from time to time. And whenever it, uh, you know, uh, it falls due, we keep negotiating with Ultratech the uh, other uh, terms and condition and uh, commercial aspect, and we get it done. Furthermore, the quality, uh, the quantity of the sale has been increased approximately 23% during the year in comparison to the previous year. Has incurred a loss of rupees. Five seven uh, five thousand seven hundred eighty lakhs and the major component of the loss, including the financial cost and depreciation. Further, I would like to thank our stakeholders, customers, the leadership team, and all of our employees for their commitments, efforts, initiative. I also thank each one of you for your continuing supporting to us. I wish all of us the very best as we carry out our individual responsibilities in building future success together. Thank you, everyone. Please stay safe and healthy. And hopefully this time next year we will be able to meet in person. Thank you, sir. Further, in compliance with MCA and SEBI circular, this 36th AGM is being held virtually. The member are advised the, to that the facility of participation at the AGM has been made available on a first come first services. The instruction for joining the AGM and for voting during the AGM has been mentioned in the notice of the AGM and are also displayed on the website of the company. Once the question answer session starts, we shall one by one announce the name of shareholders who have registered themselves as speakers. Thereafter, the speaker shareholder will be unmuted by us. The speaker shareholders are also requested to unmute themselves and switch on their cameras before asking the question. Keeping in view the time made available by NSDL, Speaker shareholders are requested to restrict their question to a maximum of five minutes. Since the meeting is held through video conferencing, the facility of appointing proxy has been dispensed over. I would now call upon Chairman Sir to address the members. The annual general meeting of company along with auditor's report, director's report, and the financial statements for the year in the 31st March 2022, along with notice of 36th annual general meeting was sent electronically to members and necessary newspaper publication. Public notice was published in the regards pursuant to the regulatory requirements. With your consent, we take the notice of the AGM as received and read. The statutory auditor Ms. K. Pandya and company chartered accountants have given their unqualified opinion in their auditor's report for the financial year 2021-22. In compliance with Companies Act 2023, the company had provided remote e-voting facilities through NSDL and voting was open for three days from 9 a.m. on 18th September 2022 till 5th, uh, 5 p.m. on 20th September 2022. Further, pursuant to MCA circulars, your company has received and provided the facility of e-voting during the course of this meeting. Members who had already cast their vote through remote e-voting shall not be eligible to recast their vote through e-voting facility at the AGM. Mr. Pankaj Kumar Modi, company secretary in this practice, has been appointed as the scrutinizer for the process of the remote e-voting and e-voting to be conducted at this 36th annual general meeting. We now take up the resolution as set forth in the notice. The notice of AGM includes two agenda items. Item number one is adoption of accounts. Now I am requesting the shareholders to pass the resolution by proposing and seconding the resolutions. Hello. Hello, so I, 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 I,
now i am i am requesting the shareholders to pass the resolution by proposing and seconding the resolution the item number 2 is approval of remuneration of cost auditor नाउ आई पास ऑन द माइक टू मिस्टर रितेश अग्रवाल ऑथोराइज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ यूवी एसेट रिकंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी लिमिटेड फॉर अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ डायरेक्टर लाइबल टू रिटायर बाय रोटेशन रितेश अग्रवाल जी रितेश जी tapas is ritesh ji available was on the panel sir uh, he's in sir the ritesh sir is here sir yes yeah sir please ah so i ritesh agrawal Yeah, Ritesh, please. Yeah, yeah, uh, please. So I, Ritesh Agarwal, being the representative of UV Asset Reconstruction Company Limited, want to enunciate that pursuant to change of management of Burnpur Cement Limited by our company under Section Nine, Subsection One, as read with Section Fifteen and Sixteen of the Safeci Act, two thousand two, the directors nominated by us were appointed with effect from first October two thousand nineteen. and ritesh agrawal myself non executive director of the company is liable to retire by rotation as per the company's act 2013 in uh, in this uh, uh, annual general meeting we hereby declare that uh, uh, ritesh agrawal mr ritesh agrawal who is liable to retire by rotation shall continue to act as the director of banpo cement limited now i hand over the mic to uh, back to the chairman Thank you, Ritesh ji. Uh, before we allow the e-voting to commence, we would like to start with the shareholder speech. Now I request company secretary to call the speakers one by one. Yes, sir. Peter, Kishan, 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 Hello, am I audible, sir? Hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Ditta, you are audible. Respected Chairman, distinguished Board of Directors, eminent KMPs, and my fellow shareholders visiting this busy meeting, I myself, Tapos Kumar Dutto, an equity shareholder of Banpur Cement Limited. i profoundly express my sincere gratitude to the galaxy of banpur cement limited for their dedication exertion commitment and outstanding achievement i take the opportunity to salute all the dedicated staff who have been working relentlessly challenging their lives since the beginning of the pandemic period my heart felt in deepness to our secretarial department for their excellent and remarkable investor services they are doing everything efficiently effectively and intelligently under the leadership of sir titho saheb a man of immense knowledge and integrity a man free from discrimination and injustice a man of excellent quality of hard working nature sir now i am coming to annual report page 14 the impact of demand and supply of altatech directly affects the performance of the company sir altatech cement company 
is using the platform of the plant of Panpur Cement Company, I think. At its requirement, if they have demand, they will give more order to Panpur Cement, and they, if they have no demand, they will not give. Third, when will you come out of this contact of this proposal or the set the um, the agreement when will come out this come out of this agreement that if you not come out this agreement i think you will never reach the break even point third page 14 another point the company has negotiated its commercial term with Altatech. Sir, which is the, the new commercial term? I would like to know. The commercial term should be in such a manner where EBITDA, that is, represent the operating profit, must be positive for Banpur Cement. Banpur cement is still incurring losses, so far as visible in the balance sheet. Operational losses has reduced to 3.45%, but it is still losses, suffering losses. The page 22, permanent employees 99. I would like to know how many of them are directly involved in production? How many of them are skilled? Sir, page 51. You are a prudent management team, sir, but you have omitted to transfer the title deed of Palas Diha in the name of Banpur Cement. Sir, many days expired, but why don't you transfer the title deed in the name of Banpur Cement? Sir, page 51, the company has granted loan, secured and unsecured. Sir, I think it is a printing mistake. Company cannot give grant loan, secured and unsecured. It uh, should be... Uh, the company has not granted loan in uh, auditor's report, page 51. But the company has, uh, the company is generally irregular. I think it is also a printing mistake. The company is generally regular, it should be. In depositing undisputed dues, Sir, another point, page 15, the company has made default in a repayment of loan or borrowing, and the same have been NPA. Sir, how much of the amount company is unable to pay and has become, is turned to NPA? Would you if clarify, it will be better. Sir, leasehold land, page 66. Sir, why don't you make depreciation on the leasehold land? Sir, work in progress. Projects temporarily suspended. Why have the project temporarily suspended? Sir, how much cost could be overrun in this case? Sir, page 88, raw materials cost increased by 28%. Sir, many cost increased, but we are not bothered about it, but raw materials is directly involved in operating cost. You should try to collect from other sources where you can get minimized price. 
sir page 89 renewable energy should be taken into consideration as electricity cost abruptly increased and it is directly associated with your operating cost sir in fuel expenses biofuel should be taken into consideration in this case i think sir page 90 direct labor cost increased 81.56 percent damaging the operating profit sir i think it should taken into consideration in this regard sir page 91 provision for bad and doubtful debt sir what action have you taken to recover the same sir reminder or legal action have you forwarded to the concerned parties sir page 92 everything is becoming in expensive and you your other expenses are also skyrocketing i don't want to give emphasis on it as all costs are increasing but you have to reduce your prime cost that is material cost direct labor cost to make the organization at least to reach to break even point with these few remarks i would like to conclude thank you for patient hearing over to you sir for next proceeding uh, thank you mr tapas kumar datta for your uh, suggestions and uh, you have asked few points, uh, uh, you have asked some clarification uh, in annual general meeting from us. So uh, let me clarify you one by one. So you have asked what type, I mean, when we will be, you know, um, come out sir, of the contract. Sir, I interrupt kar rahun, sir. Ek minute, sir. Sir, you last yes. minute, last minute reply. Kar ye dekhi, hamara, dusra bhi meeting. Hai. Sab, in, sab, speaker log, uh, hua hai. next uh, meeting. Ke liye. Sir, let me clarify, then uh, I will take the next question because uh, there are eight, ten questions, so it will be very difficult for me to keep remembering 50 odd questions and replying on that. So uh, have some patience. Uh, let me answer one by one. So the very first question was when we will come out of the contract from the Ultra Tech. Uh, as per my mind, I think, sir, this is uh, as it is a you know a stress company and uh, uh, we cannot afford i mean you have obviously uh, taken another point that uh, how can we reduce bad debts doubtful debts so that is also a point where you know if you go with the b2b business uh, you don't have much or negligible amount of bad debts and in our cases we don't have any bad debts number one number two uh, you know as a stress company we don't have funds much to uh, uh, you know be independent on our own to make the expenses on marketing to make the expenses on operations things and all because we have a, a you know a buy and sell agreement with ultra tech so we are quite safer and once we will be you know uh, standing on our own legs and we will be uh, financially strong definitely we will think to come out of this and uh, in future what the board will take the decision obviously in general meeting you people will be you know, there to uh, give us the uh, suggestions to uh, go ahead. So that is the thing for the time being. I think this is the best thing what we are doing and uh, your suggestions. We definitely we are taking in consideration. We will discuss and what can be done. We will definitely uh, think upon this. The second question of yours was. I think number of permanent employee on the role uh, of the company that is 99. So I think uh, your question was uh, how many people are involved in operations. So I think 80% of this, 80% uh, of these employees, 99, I believe 70 to 75 employees are directly in uh, operations. 
and uh, there are they totally they are skill labor because uh, unskilled labor we are on you know they, they come under the labor and uh, labor charges so that is uh, with you know we have outsources that that those those are those will come under you know uh, contractors so these are totally skilled lab, uh, skilled employees so and the next uh, question of yours was uh, annual report i mean page number 51 that is uh, tapas please check at point number 3 whether the company has granted loan or not granted loan kindly make the corrections whatever the case may be the okay. 7a was yeah the company is generally ir irregular in depositing undisputed statutory this is a good point uh, you know made by uh, tapas kumar uh, sir by, because it will be a regular in depositing undisputed uh, statutory dues the company has made default in repayment of loan borrowing to financial institutions sir on the face of the balance sheet you can see uh, what is the amount of the uh, let me uh, the uh, tell you the figures give me a second so you can see in the balance sheet under current liabilities uh, borrowings is there the uh, borrowings is uh, point number 18 this is 460 crores so this is the amount uh, secured borrowings from the financial institutions and this has become npa and uh, uh, we are not in position currently to repay this amount but definitely we are hopeful that in future we will be definitely repaying this amount your next question was in page number 88 the cost of raw material uh, sir actually uh, this is uh, totally you know uh, uh, what has happened last year that uh, coal i mean production of coal in india was badly affected due to covid situation and other uh force major situations and due to that all the raw material cost of the raw material because clinker is definitely uh, being uh, you know manufactured from the limestone using pet coke or coal so heat processes is definitely there the consumption of coal is vast in production making the production from uh, you know by making the production of the clinker and then again while grinding it to the cement again coal is required so one is the major factor coal second one is uh, you know uh, price hike of the railways third the price hike of the labor charges handling costs these are the you know additional cost which has increased the uh, uh, the cost of the raw materials secondly cost of the slag is also you know su increased substantially we can say it's three times than the cost of the last year because of you know slag is the by product of the uh, of the steel industry so we don't have any control in that because you know that is they have the monopoly in selling the slag so high the, the most highest bidder will be uh, you know allowed to buy this slag so in the bidding process whatever the price comes uh, we have to you know pay that much amount and then acquire require, acquire the slag from respective uh, you know uh, vendors so and your last question was i think uh, labor charges increased uh, the major factor of the labor charges increased was like last year if you see our uh, production uh, i mean obviously the production has been increased the labor charges was increased also due to increased in the labor charges as per the statutory norms of the jharkhand government and thirdly uh, this year uh, last year the maintenance cost was a little bit low this year we have made some maintenance as well in the plant to smooth for the smooth running of the plant so this is the reason the labor charges has been increased you have also asked for the doubtful debts how to uh, uh, ask for the uh, how to uh, make the recovery whether we have taken any you know 
uh, legal step or not definitely yes sir we have taken the legal steps we have sent the notices for the recovery of the uh, uh, doubtful days we have recovered some monies and we are hopeful that uh, whatever the doubtful dates are there we will be recovering it shortly and other legal steps will be continuously taken against them i think this was the last point tapas said tapas yes. so uh, you yes. can ask for another uh, shareholders respective shareholders to ask any question if thank you sir i would now request our second speaker shareholder mr taraknath chakravarti to express his views on the company mr chakravarti please unmute yourself and switch on your video yes suna jata hai tapas babu yeah you are Hello. audible yes you are audible Good afternoon, good afternoon, Mr. Bhalwabil, company chairman, other board of directors, and our very sincere gratuity improvement and working ability and efficient persons. Our company old is gold secretary, Mr. Tapos Tito. He will be connected to all our resolution. Our send the website, and then after I joining the meeting. There are thirty-six annual general meeting in Banpur Cement. Banpur Cement is one time he is a overall liquidation. After that he is a recovery, and there will not a matter of jo. The cement industry is a big industry. There is lot of problem. Previous management over take the over hundred percent subsidy uh, liquidation uh, portion, and all our loan burden over hundred percent is loan burden. Is a very short time, two or three years. It is not a magically uh, matter. But our management company tried to make already. I website your annual report, and you have tried to solve the last three years. Is a too much recovery? Uh, your loan burden uh, matter. And lastly, this year, 21, 22, is company one round. 122 turnover 150 crore but uh, loss making is over 70 crore to 50 crore recovery is a, not a matter of job of the pandemic situation i observe your annual report your annual report is a 100% benchmark point is cost of always you try to make a cost control at cost reduce but now is present the market scenario not so far good all these things are too much uh, higher in then the you have maintained the parallel is a labor charge is a raw material cost parallel your cement price is over is double just 3 4 years ago cement price is per bag 250 to over 500 ko so this is the is a unparallel unpredictable query is the Uh, matter is not is justified. This is we are keep thinking. The what is the segment is company turn round the all are recovery and come the profit uh, taking division and company pay the minority shareholder dividend. And I request to you at present your five years planning of the company status and how much your recovery the past uh, loan and all these things burden and after the. You are come back to newborn baby, and company is a profit taking uh, unit. You have try. I am sure our fully confident. Our uh, MD, our company chairman, director, finance, CFO, all of these things are eligible and is a very dynamic person. Our fully confident. Our management board, but at present, take scenario 19 COVID. We are. Uh, just uh, recovery and uh, coming the is a normal state that i request to you as a you are a management team always you are joining the our uh, cab nsc and ministry of corporate affairs that it is humble my request is a minority shareholder uh, try to make the coming year at least meeting is physical and who permitted of the sebi the maximum shareholder is a requirement of the physical meeting sir website is a not a possible for all these things are resolution and try to discuss any are over uh, 
talk to telephone it is humble request it is my point is view please keep you noted the coming year we are want to say that meeting is physical this is my humble request and not only are i more uh, than square is i am i will really say the god all of these things are really very true and fair 100% benchmark point and you are born of the new baby is a market introducing our is a valuable cricket captain mr saurabh ganguly very recent your conferencing the taj bengal and your choice of the our banpur cement uh, bag is a new uh, born baby is coming the market and he is introducing to public segment it is a very good achievement i thanks i fully supported to your achievement of the brand ambassador is saurabh ganguly showing your taj bengal is conferencing and all these things are your really very true and fair you try to best your comfort in the coming year our better performing better profited better your result expected and and very as soon as possible our try to our company turn around the previous position i thanks to all of members i thanks to abex i thanks to our company valuable secretary your tapos tipto is a really dynamic person he is a joining and he is kept selected the nsdl website website is the one of the best vc uh, management controlling uh, board i thanks to our all our person i thanks to all of the uh, various stage of company staff management president board of directors and all the uh, board of directors our company valuable chairman no more i requirement i turn uh, microphone is over to our company chairman thank you sir thank you tarak chakravarti ji uh, uh, we will be definitely uh, uh, will think if all things goes uh, right with the covid thing and all we will be uh, conducting a physical uh, annual general meeting next year and we'll try to meet you people we all we are we all are missing you too so uh, definitely we will definitely we will do our best to conduct a physical board meeting and uh, we are trying our level best to uh, you know make this company profitable so that small shareholders can get their dividends and this is our you know uh, our wish so that we can pay off the uh, shareholders of our company from the dividend uh, once uh, we reach uh, the benchmark and once we become a profitable company tapas thank you sir i would now request our third speaker your holder mr bimal krishna sarkar to express his views mr sarkar please unmute yourself and switch on your video hello am i audible yes mr sarkar you are audible chairman sir very good afternoon very good, good afternoon, afternoon sir. sir sir ha ah, mai bimal krishna sarkar mera residence kolkata se bol raha hu ji sir bole ha ah, ananya sahabati ji और अन्य डायरेक्टर बिंद और उपस्थित हमारा आदरणीय तापोस तीर्थ जी सर पहले मैं तापोस तीर्थ कंपनी सेक्रेटरी को मैं धन्यवाद देता हूं उन्होंने बहुत पहले एनुअल रिपोर्ट और नोटिस भेज दिया है सर और सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कंपनी सेक्रेटरी बहुत लोगों से हम लोगों को मिलते हैं मतलब तापोस तीर्थ जी जिस तरीके से जित सारे शेयर होल्डर के साथ जो रिलेशन रखते हैं और उनका गुड मैनर है एक्सपीरियंस है और जो हार्ड वर्कर है और साथ सब सब के साथ जो रिलेशन रखते हैं इसलिए उनको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर देखिए ये जो कोविड 19 जो सिचुएशन इस परिस्थिति में जो रिजल्ट आया है बहुत अच्छी रिजल्ट आया है सर सबसे बड़ी बात ये है कि हमारा कंपनी जब लिक्विडेशन में जा रहे थे उसी टाइम हमारा मैनेजमेंट ने जो सिद्धांत लिया था जे अल्ट्राटेक के थ्रू हमारा ये माल सेल करे ये सटीक था इसलिए हमारा कंपनी का पोजीशन आज बेहतर बेटर हुआ है इसलिए ये सिचुएशन है परिस्थिति को ओवरट कर रहा है हमारा कंपनी से ये गुड डिसीशन के लिए ये हो रहा है सर सर रेवेन्यू टोटल रेवेन्यू इंक्रीज हुई है सर सर प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स सर ये रिड्यूस हुआ है बहुत रिड्यूस हुआ है 
प्लस बहुत में कम हो रहा हो गया है लगता है अगला दो तीन साल के अंदर हमारा कंपनी प्रॉफिट में आ जाएगा सर मैंने जे पहले जे हमारा जो प्रीवियस स्पीकर थे लगता है मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी रेस्ट मैं ज़्यादा टाइम ले लेना चाहता हूँ सर जितना रेजोल्यूशन है मैंने फेबर में ऑलरेडी वोट कर दिया है सर मेरे एक क्वेश्चन है जो लोन अकाउंट जो है जो लोन को दिया गया है सारे अकाउंट रेगुलर है कि नहीं है इसके बारे में थोड़ा जानकारी दे दीजिएगा सर इम्प्लॉइज जितना है सबका बूस्टर डोज कंप्लीट हुई कि नहीं है इसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे दीजिएगा सर मेरा फुल कॉन्फिडेंस है मैं पूरा जेनुअल रिपोर्ट को पूरा समर्थन करता हूँ आज जितना रेजोल्यूशन है सब ऑलरेडी मैंने ई वोटिंग कर दिया है मैं सर इंद्रजीत तिवारी जी आप सुस्त रहिएगा जितना डायरेक्टर साहब है आपका और हमारा आदरणीय तपस्तित्व जी और जितना कंपनी का एम्प्लॉय है सब सुस्त रहेगा ये भगवान से प्रार्थना करते हुए मेरा वक्त वो कंक्लूड करने जाना हूँ सर मेरे को बोलने का जो मौका दिया है इसलिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू तिवारी जी थैंक यू मिस्टर सरकार आपने सबके लिए हेल्थ के लिए सबको विशेष किया है मैं भी यही चाहूँगा हमारी इंटायर टीम की तरफ से कि आप भी स्वस्थ रहें आपकी पूरी फैमिली स्वस्थ रहे इस कोविड पीरियड में एंड ऐसे भी आप लोग स्वस्थ रहेंगे तो ही हम लोगों के लिए अच्छा प्रे कर पाएंगे एंड वी कैन डू बेटर इन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द कंपनी आपका दो क्वेश्चन था सर पहला क्वेश्चन ये था कि लोन अकाउंट सारे कंटिन्यू है कि नहीं सर हम लोग एन अकाउंट हैं तो लोन अकाउंट हमारा अभी कंटिन्यू नहीं है मींस हम लोग अभी रीपे करने की पोजीशन में नहीं हैं बट अभी हमारे जो फिनंशियल क्रेडिटर हैं सिक्योर्ड फिनंशियल क्रेडिटर उनका बहुत ही सपोर्ट रहा है एंड वही इस कंपनी को रेडिकली इम्प्रूव कर रहे हैं वही इस कंपनी को आगे बढ़ा रहे हैं वही इस कंपनी को चाह रहे हैं कि ये कंपनी एक बार फिर से आ, आ, अपने फुल आ, आ, फुल कैपेसिटी के साथ चले प्रॉफिटेबल हो ताकि सारे शेयर होल्डर्स को भी उसका फ़ायदा मिले सो so, जैसे ही हम लोग प्रॉफिटेबल होंगे हम लोग शेयर होल्डर्स के लिए भी सोचेंगे एंड डेफिनेटली हम लोग कंपनी के लोन को भी रीपे करने का आ, उनके साथ बैठ के एक शेड्यूल बनाएंगे कि कैसे हम रीपे कर सकते हैं सर दूसरा क्वेश्चन आपका ये था कि सारे लोगों को बूस्टर डोज लगे हैं कि नहीं सारे लोगों सेकेंड जो फाइनल वैक्सीनेशन था वो सब लग चुका है बूस्टर डोज जैसे जैसे सबको लाइक जैसे जैसे सबको सुविधा मिलता है वो जाके करा चुके हैं आई बिलीव अस्सी से 90 परसेंट लोगों ने बूस्टर डोज भी ले लिया है कुछ लोग बचे हैं वो लोग भी आई बिलीव बाय एंड ऑफ दिस मंथ वो लोग ले लेंगे क्योंकि बूस्टर डोज भी अवेलेबल जैसे होता है हमारे लोकल सी ऑफिस में या ब्लॉक्स में तो जितने बूस्टर डोज अवेलेबल होते हैं हम उसे रिजर्व करा के इम्प्लॉज को प्रोवाइड कराते हैं तापस यस सर थैंक यू सर नाउ आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट आवर फोर्थ स्पीकर शेयर होल्डर मिस्टर जयदीप बक्सी टू स्पीक अबाउट मिस्टर बक्सी प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून चेयरमैन board of directors myself jaydeep bakshi connecting from the city of kolkata thanks to our company secretary mr bakshi you are not completely audible for giving me an opportunity to express my view sir in initial speech you have said mr bakshi you are not audible ha ah. Hello. You are not completely audible, Mr. Baxi. Hello. Please speak properly. I think your network is uh, not working. Your internet connectivity is slow. The inventory position. How are you controlling your inventory position? Inventory position. How are you controlling your inventory position? And uh, are we supplying to any other companies other than Altertech? And. Uh, and any any to the direct to the market suppliers and uh, how when are we uh, what is our time frame and how, what is our uh, planning schedule to come out of the loss and future plans sir and uh, and to uh, as you as remain saying that we we want to stand on our own feet when do we plan to have, have this and expected time frame regarding this so nothing to add more i have supported all the resolutions 
sir just one request sir you should restrict the speaker's timings for the speech everybody is continuing with the time other two or two three minutes that will be helpful to all the speakers and also uh, if you answer reply at the end because many questions are repeatable and then uh, common questions are there so this might be helpful to all so nothing to add more thank you for giving me an opportunity thank you mr jaydeep bakshi for your suggestions definitely tapas uh, please uh, uh, note this uh, suggestion made by mr jaydeep uh, we should restrict uh, timings and all and uh, definitely uh, i will try my level best to answer all of your questions the uh, the your first question was inventory uh, how we manage our inventory uh actually we make a dpr daily production report in which uh, all of the incoming raw materials are there how much raw materials we procure on a particular day and how much production has been done on the particular day how much uh, you know consumption of the raw material has been done on the particular day how much losses has been done on the particular day and thereafter uh, you know after the all of the sum of and uh, you know making all the calculations we come on the conclusion that on particular day like 31st march this is the raw material available in dpr that is a daily production report now we match this dpr with our uh, you know uh, book uh, books of accounts and then we do a physical uh, you know measurement on uh, you know periodically basis you say on fortnight basis or on the basis of you know monthly basis and then we tally all these three reports simultaneously one is daily production report second is our um uh, physical uh, measurement report and third is our books of accounts report so generally this is the process how we maintain our inventory system second your question was uh, uh, whether we are making supply to others or not no sir we are only supplying our cement our final product to the ultratech cement limited we are not also we are not supplying to any other uh, you know market dealers or any other person our as uh, informed our future plan is to you know come out out of this debt uh, scenario uh, very shortly uh, say ne next 3 4 years and stand on our own to make this company profitable thank you very much tapas thank you sir i would now request our fifth speaker sir order mr shujan modak to commence his speech uh, mr modak please unmute yourself on your video so you can hear me yes mr modak please continue yeah yeah respected chairman other board of directors and my online fellow shareholders i am shujan modak i am attending this meeting from my residence in kolkata good afternoon everyone namaskar and good afternoon sir all the speakers in before me have really asked all my questions so i don't want to consume time because and you have given the reply very nicely so i really heard it and uh, so all the queries got really answered and i have gone through your uh, annual report so it's nothing to really ask sir only thing that uh, we really want as shareholder that uh, company should come back to its own feet as soon as possible what are the support for the shareholder side we are ready to do it and always we are doing it and uh, i support all your agendas done the voting in favor and wish our company will definitely stand up as soon as possible before i finish i really want to thank our uh, company secretary mr tapos tirtho sir uh, he and his whole team is doing very good for the investors services thank you tapusda you are doing fantastic job thank you very much sir and uh, really i want to say that tapus tirtha is a really a very valuable officer of our company sir definitely company abhi thoda lean period mein chal raha hai koi baat nahi sir hota hai aadmi ka zindagi mein bhi aise lean period aata hai company ka zindagi mein bhi aise aata hai lean period aata hai but it takes time time beet jayegi हम लोग भी ऊपर आ जाएंगे ये हम आशा करते हैं और नथिंग टू एड मोर सर ओवर टू फॉर फर्दर प्रोसीडिंग्स थैंक यू थैंक यू मिस्टर सुजन मोदक जी फॉर योर यू नो काइंड सपोर्ट टू आवर टीम एंड काइंड सपोर्ट टू एंड ऑलवेज स्टैंडिंग विथ आवर कंपनी विथ योर कंपनी 
and definitely sir with all your good wishes and uh, strong faith we will come out of this situation uh, and uh, we will be a very strong uh, we will be in a very strong position in future because uh, ultimately our intent uh, the shareholder of the intent of the shareholders intent of the board int intent of the employees overall stakeholders is to uh, you know uh, strongly back up this company and to uh make this uh, uh company a very profitable and uh, make this company its presence a very strongly thank you tapas thank you sir i would now request our six six speaker shareholder mr manas banerji to express his views on the company mr banerji please unmute yourself and sit down your video Good afternoon, sir. Respected yeah, chairman, afternoon. present board of members, and my fellow online shareholders. Myself, Manoj Banerjee, an equity shareholder of Barnpur Cement Limited, joining the AGM from Kolkata. I have already cast my e-voting all in favor of the resolutions. I convey my sincere thanks to our company secretary, Mr. Tapas Tito. He is energetic and cordial with the shareholders. Sir, our company has shown a good revenue growth and efficient cash conversion cycle. The company has a strong degree of operating leverages. I have only one specific query, sir. I would like to know what initiatives are you taken to increase volume up, upgrading machineries, and focusing on R&D activities. I hope under the leadership of this board of directors, our company will definitely bounce back with a positive financial result. That's all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Manas Banerjee. Uh, you have uh, two, three questions. Uh, one is, uh, what is uh, the system of, you know, to update the, uh, uh, you know, machineries and all? So, uh, on a very periodically, very short period, periods, like on every one or two months basis, we sit our with uh, with our entire team, with our entire quality team, entire you know uh, technical team, mechanical team, and we request them to give their best suggestions how to you know um, upgrade our systems. Number one, number two. How to you know eliminate the break you know uh, this um, situation where the companies uh, sometimes you know machinery breaks down sometimes you know uh, force major situation comes so we have you know made an SOP where before having such an instance if if at all they get to know that this particular machinery need to be changed we take action on a very first day and then we order those parts of the machinery and keep the entire system up to date whenever i mean if we see that this particular machinery or this particular you know motor or this particular liners or this anything belt or something like that we see that in next six months the maximum utilization on the basis of our past experience that yeah this this particular um, part has been utilized for three years and now this is going to give service some more more than not more than six months then immediately we take action we order for such particular uh, parts and then we install it before the you know uh, wear and tear of uh, complete wear and tear of that uh, part so this is how we maintain and we keep researching with our research team you they give us supports they give us suggestions what to do how to do the thing so that we can you know, uh, reduce the cost on the process, reduce the losses of the process, how to increase the efficiency of the production, increase the efficiency of the out, output product, efficiency, uh, increase the quality of the output product. So these are the things we, on, we don't wait for a long term, like one year or six months, something like that. This is in our SOP and this is the part of our operations, basically. So we keep doing it on a regular basis. I, I I believe I have uh, I I have answered your query uh, uh, the way you have asked it. Okay, Tapas. Thank you, sir. I will now request our seventh and last speaker shareholders, Mr. Shubhaskar, to talk about your company. Mr. Kar, please unmute yourself and switch on your video. Mr. May Kar. I audible? Yes, yes, Mr. Kar, please. Good afternoon, sir. Respected chairman, board of director, 
and my online fellow shareholder myself subhash kaur joining from kolkata thanks to respected company secretary mr tapas tirtha his kind behavior and always maintain a cordial relation with the shareholder and give me a opportunity to speak at this platform sir i have already casted my vote in favor of the all regulation sir my previous speaker already asked the my question so no needs to repeat it just to support you and hope our company will do better in coming year under the leadership of our respected chairman mr indrajit kumar tiwari thank you and wishing you all the best thank you mr subhaskar for your uh, kind uh, support to our company thank you very much and uh, thank you everyone i would now request the members who did not cast their vote through remote e voting to cast their e vote now the e voting shall remain open for 30 minutes from the conclusion of this meeting the voting shall remain in progress for the stipulated period on all the item of business as per the notice calling this meeting and concluded thereafter the result of the voting will be displayed on the website of the company the stock exchange as well as nsdl then two working days of conclusion of this meeting i would like to thank you all for attending this meeting and for the cooperation extended since there is no other business to transact with consent of the member i declare the meeting as closed please stay safe and healthy thank you everyone thank you i would like to thank the chairman and the shareholders for being a part of this 36th annual general of the meeting i on behalf of the company hereby conclude this meeting please do the e voting if already not done